Hi, this is Database by Doug. I'm going to cover today the like statement in a little more advanced manner. So um, I have an earlier video, if you're new to like, I have an earlier video that covers wildcard matching with percent and underscore. But in this video, we'll cover character sets and specific use cases, how to find uh, certain kinds of patterns using like. We're going to start with uh, the Northwind database. We'll be using that. And uh, I'll just start with the products table. There's all the products. We're going to do some matching based on the product name. Notice that there's 77 products here. Now let's limit those to the ones that begin with A. So this is using percent. And percent, as you might recall, is matches on zero or more characters. And you can see that it's working. But what if I'd like to match on things that start with an A or a B or a C? I can do that using OR and three separate like statements, but there is a more succinct way of phrasing this, and here it is. So in this case, I'm using the special characters of the square brackets to show a set of characters. So what this means for a square bracket uh, set is a single character from this list of characters. So in this case, it's saying the first character must be an A or a B or a C, and then the percent means zero or more characters after the A, B, or C. So I can do that twice, and in this case, what it means is that the first character must be A or B or C, and the second character in, this, in the product name must be an L or an H or an O, and then zero or more characters afterwards. So if you look at this, you should see L's, O's, and H's in the second character. So you can also phrase these sets of characters in the pattern matching string using hyphens, and that means a set of characters between A and C, inclusive of the A and the C. So in other words, this is equivalent to the previous one where this represents A, B, or C. If I said A dash or A hyphen D, it would be A, B, C, or D. So what if I want just the opposite of product names that start with an A or a B or a C? Well, I can use the not statement and uh, some parentheses and ors in order to get that. But again, it's fairly verbose. And I think a clearer way would be to just use not like this. So use the not operator and the like statement with the square brackets. But we can also do it this way. So this is another special character. Notice there's a caret before the A, B, or C. And what this means is, a single character, single character or is designated by the square brackets, and then a hyphen, or I'm sorry, a caret at the beginning means not in this list. So not in the list of A, B, or C. So this is everything that begins with a letter not A, B, or C. Now, something that would be a little harder to do with ands and ors and, and nots would be uh, this test to make sure that the first character is not an A, B, or a C, and that the second character is not uh, an L or an H or an O. So there are some things that lend themselves very nicely to this like statement um, with the character sets that don't lend themselves well to the ands and ors and nots. So um, furthermore, you can combine these uh, ranges of characters. So here's A, B, or C. I'm skipping D here and then E through J. So this is effectively anything that starts with the letter A through J accepting the D. So don't include things that start with a D. And if you look at the list here, you'll notice that it jumps from uh, E, or I'm sorry, from C to E. So let's go through some common use cases. So one of the things you might commonly want to do is find things with at least a certain number of characters. And the typical way you do that is with underscores, which require at, le 
a single exactly one character and a percent which is zero or more and notice that if I've got more than six characters it matches and in this case it doesn't match because I have fewer than six characters if I want to find something that begins with a character so this one matches notice I'm using the range A through Z and notice that this one does not begin with a letter A through Z so uh, it doesn't match so let's say I want to combine those two requirements that something begin with a letter and have at least a certain number of characters so here's one that matches here's one that does not match uh, because it doesn't have enough characters and here is one that doesn't match because it doesn't start with a letter okay so here's one that must begin with a uh, digit and uh, have a certain number of characters and then this one is uh, it must begin with a letter must contain a digit somewhere so to decipher this this is uh, the first letter must be in this range then zero or more characters and then uh, somewhere there must be uh, zero through nine and then zero or more characters after that so again this is must begin with a character and contain a, a digit somewhere okay so another common thing to want to do is find leading or trailing spaces so uh, this would be to look for something without actually trimming it or removing the space so in this case I have a space not printable uh, than a percent so that would be looking for a, a leading space and of course if I put the percent in front of the space that would find me trailing spaces oh uh, well, let's say I want to find leading or trailing punctuation so here I have a square bracket square bracket and I've listed a bunch of punctuation characters between the brackets and thus this is saying that the first character is some kind of a punctuation then zero or more characters afterwards and of course I could look for trailing by moving the percent to the beginning um, let's see what about white space so this is something we commonly want to detect and what I'm going to do is um, build up because these are unprintable characters I need to build up these strings uh, using my knowledge of the ASCII uh, data set and the character function which will take the number of the character in the ASCII set and convert it into the actual character so in this case I'm using pluses to do concatenation and on the left of the like I'm building up a character string that has a DB and then a tab character and then DOUG and on the right side of the like statement I'm building up the pattern matching string using a percent square bracket the space character then a tab character and then concatenate square bracket and percent so this is actually testing for a space or a tab and um, it does find it in my uh, DB tab Doug string now to be a little bit more thorough I can again use uh, my range character the hyphen along with my knowledge of the ASCII code and here what I'm doing is saying anything between um, well notice the percents at the beginning and end and what I'm trying to match is any string that contains one of these punctuation characters so to do this I'm building up a string that starts with a th character 33 which is the exclamation point then a hyphen then uh, the forward slash and then also just continuing to build up this matching string so this will match on anything that has a uh, punctuation character in it and there's my curly bracket and then here is a similar same same thing only I'm testing on a squ uh, square bracket and square bracket you can also do this with unprintable characters so in this case 
uh, what I'm doing is I'm looking for, let's say I want to detect any strings that have an unprintable character. So something that's not a punctuation, it's not a number, it's not a letter. So here I am building up on the left side an ABC, then the bell character, and then an ABC. And I'm comparing it to uh, this string. And notice I'm using a caret. And then I know that uh, characters 32 through 126 are all printable characters. So I'm saying anything that contains something that is not printable. So these same techniques that are covered can be used for uh, white space characters. You could determine or say that I'd like to find anything that's just you know a tab or a space or uh, a line feed or carriage return. And then also this technique could be used for Unicode character sets, uh, but you'd have to have knowledge of the Unicode character set. So that's the like statement, advanced. And this is Database by Doug.